Hello, and thanks for stopping by. Today we'll be discussing the configuration file in Rofi. Now what you see before you is a layout of Rofi's menu. It has elements like window, main box, input bar, message, list view, and mode switcher. And all of these little things here make up the Rofi menu. So not only will I leave a link in the description to this website, I'll also leave a link in the description to this website, which this is just a configuration that someone came up with using all of the elements in the Rofi menu. So this is what my Rofi looks like. And my Rofi has borders and it has rounded corners and it has this nice little text effect going on. Whenever that bar is black, the text is white. Whenever it's not in the black, then it turns the text to black, etc., etc. So let's talk about my configuration file. What did I do to it to make it look like this? Well, in configuration, I set Modi to window, run, and drun. Then I set KB cancel to escape and alt plus F1. Then I set drun dash display dash format to icon space name. Then I set show icons to true. My icon theme pack is papyrus dark and my font is open dyslexic nerd font 12. And I've got this line in here because we need to specify that the theme path is null because our theme is going to be located inside this config.razi file, which I should mention that your file should be in .config forward slash Rofi. Anyway, I've set the background to C0C0C0, and I added these extra zeros in here because I want my background color to be transparent. I've set the text to black, and in our main box, I've set the border to 1, border radius is 20 pixels on all sides, the border color is black, and the background color is C0C0C0. And whenever I'm reading this stuff off, make sure to follow along with the graphs so that way you know where all the elements is in context. Now in input bar, having this line was essential for textbox-prompt-colon, and I'll get into textbox-prompt-colon later. But what you'll want to do is set it up as textbox prompt colon comma entry comma case indicator. And that sets up your input bar. Border is set to one, Border radius is set to 20 px on the top left and top right, but on the bottom left and bottom right, they're set to zero. Border color is black. And in element text, we have these two lines, which are very essential to the text. Now, remember how we have our text color to be black, right? Well, this is going to be essential whenever we go to our element selected section, because if you don't have inherit, in this it won't change the text of the color whenever it's highlighted black and the background won't be black whenever you select an element so inherit is going to be very important for that and then in element selected we set the border to one border color was black background color was black and the text color was white under window we have a border set to one border radius is 20 pixels all around border color is white and transparency is set to screenshot. And the reason why this is important was because even though I saw the border radius take effect, I still saw the harsh corners. So using transparency screenshot made the borders completely round. And then in text box prompt colon, we set expand to false, and I set the string to whatever I wanted to set it. So you know how earlier I was saying something about the input bar and about how the children line was important. Well, that text box prompt colon tells your Rofi what it's supposed to say. And in my configuration, it says run up here. We set the margin to 0 px, 0 0.1 em, 0 em, and 0 em. And that 0 0.1 is basically the spacing between the prompt colon and what you're typing. And now we've come full circle. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I shall see you guys in the next video.